Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I am so excited to do. It is going to be my Will I Buy It, talking over all of the new makeup releases that have been announced this week. If you can hear my dog, she's at my feet. She's trying to also be in this video. She wants to let you know her thoughts on the new makeup releases. But we have a lot to chat about this week. I'll link my playlist down below as well as the community playlist that I started. And let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, welcome. Welcome. Let me show you my outfit of the day. We don't have much going on. Don't have much going on today. I just have on my wine night sweatpants and then I just have on my uh, unbothered zip up. Oh, Aries is walking away. She has a sweater on today and I was, do you want to show them your sweater, girl? Come here, girl. You want to show them your sweater? She brought a toy with her and everything, but let me see. Come here, I'll have to lift you up. Here is Aries' outfit of the day. Oh yeah, she's got her Burberry-esque sweater on. I let her pick her sweater. Good job. Good job, boo-boo. I let her pick her sweaters. I always put them on my Instagram. If you're not following me over there, I am March Beauty Word. There's a lot of Aries in my stories. And she has her own little highlight on Instagram called Aries OOTD. So she wanted to show you her outfit here as well. But this is a part of my merch line that is available on Teespring. And I pretty much live in my zip up but i'm filming this a little bit later so i just have my pjs on because i did film for my beautylish lucky bag which went up yesterday normally i posted this series on wednesday it's been a little bit out of whack because i've mentioned that i've took some time off in january focusing on i have some new merch coming up just got a new design to prove which i'm very excited for so i'm putting together everything for that I have a new book getting ready to release. I have new products for my brand coming. I took a vacation after I did Vlogmas. So my Will I Buy It's have been a little bit scattered. So um, my Beautylish Lucky Bag got pretty delayed, but it ended up coming to me Tuesday morning. So I filmed it. I'm still just finishing up editing it right now. So that video went up yesterday. If you want to see what I got in my Lucky Bag, that is up. And that's why this one is going up on Thursday. But once February hits, I'll be going back to my regular. These will go up on Wednesday. And I'll stop being so all over the place. But if you are new to my channel, I typically consistently upload three, four, sometimes more <laughs> times a week. So I would love if you would subscribe. The Will I Buy It is always one of my favorites to film. I love talking about all the new makeup releases. Uh, I did also want to say, I'll link all of my makeup down below like I always do. I did just a little bit of filming on my Instagram using some new products from Rare Beauty. Their bronzer stick, uh, also one of their new dewy liquid blushes and a new brush from them. So that demo will be going up. I do also have the Pat McGrath Bridgerton on today and I used that plus that Rare Beauty bronzer stick and more new makeup in a trying all the hot new releases. That went up earlier this week too. So we're slowly getting back into the groove of things after taking some time off. But let me go ahead and scoot over and we will jump into the new releases. I will link all of the accounts that I am reading from down below. I'm going to start with Trend Mood and I'm going to go ahead and start with some makeup news that uh, it seems like a lot of people are talking about. I've gotten a lot of tags on this and that is a Fenty Beauty is coming into Ulta Beauty. So Fenty Beauty is currently also available at Sephora, but looks like it is also coming into Ulta Beauty. I don't see yet um, a date as of right now that I'm looking. I don't see a date where it was going to be coming, but um, a lot of outlets and sites and such are saying that Fenty Beauty is coming into Ulta. So I think that's very interesting. I feel like Ulta is getting more and more brands and some really interesting ones chanel just became available at ulta beauty and i was like okay i feel like ulta beauty like probably put it on their vision board you know 2022 is their year it's really working for them so uh that's great i think that's interesting we have another new release from fenty which i'll kind of like tie in my thoughts on what i'm thinking about them right now but this is celebrating the lunar new year with the matchsticks contour skin stick and limited edition packaging for the lunar new year um these are going to be 28 dollars it's not a new shade just in that packaging this isn't something that's new i mean i've been talking about the lunar new year limited edition releases from a lot of brands charlotte tilbury uh clinique mac and more for me i'm just i'm not really super interested in them you know obviously i have a ton of makeup since this is what i do as a career and i also just love beauty so i have a lot of the products i don't really need that limited edition packaging but kind of my thoughts on fenty and going back to it being an ulta and i and i've said this in past videos I just don't feel like Fenty is like coming out with 
a lot at this moment that is really interesting me. They are coming out with a lot of either new shades for like lip products or highlighters, or they're coming out with different sets with existing products, or now we have different packaging with existing products. I, I just feel like for a while there, after Fenty came out, they were really releasing new and exciting things. But now it's just kind of like the same, the same, the same, and it's just, you know, to me it's just kind of like, okay. So I'm intrigued that they're going into Ulta Beauty, but I'm hoping that some more releases will be coming out from Fenty that get me excited. I did also want to mention, usually if I receive something in PR that I'm going to talk about this week, I will show the product too, and I completely forgot. I'm going to just jump right into Fenty. But uh, Kaja Beauty just released these new products. These are the Love Swipe Lipsticks. These release for $18. They are a lightweight, cushiony lip mousse, and they are available in five, sa five shades. So Kaja sent these over in this cute little container like so and then i also have two shades out because i did use these in that trying new makeup releases video and then i do have a shade on today this is in i'm melting and this was another shade that i was thinking of so that's why these are out but i think that these are so cute kasha is really a brand that has been impressing me a lot lately there's some products that are true standout standouts to me from this brand and i just think that these are adorable the little heart shapes you know we have valentine's day coming up i thought that was really cute um they're all in more of like a nude or like a pink shade and i just tried them for the first time um yesterday as i am filming so this is my second time that i'm wearing them they're definitely very lightweight they do have that kind of moussey like cushiony type of feel to the lips but i thought it lasted a pretty decent amount of time it, it held up pretty well throughout my dinner i just had some chicken and a lote but i felt like it held up pretty well throughout uh, my dinner also so i'm gonna test them out tonight i'm filming this on tuesday we have fiesta tuesday that i should already <laughs> be at <laughs> but i'm gonna go down and eat some tacos at my complex um, and we'll see how the lip color goes but with all my new releases i'll always come back to review them would i have bought these $18 I don't think is a bad price. You know, obviously, it's a pretty small product, but I think it's cute. I could have seen myself purchasing that at some point. I do have a Sephora order that is on my to-do list today. I got my grocery shopping done yesterday, but I still have my Amazon and my Sephora order that I talked about in my get ready with me. Still have to place both of those. And I feel like this was one that I maybe would have just thrown in my cart as long as I was making other purchases. Because again, like I said, Kaja now is just that brand for me that's intriguing me i'm curious about the releases i like their products and i think i would have been interested to try it out all right moving back over to some new releases so because i did new releases on friday i don't feel like i have a plethora to talk about but i did get a lot of tags on the new uh, collection coming from urban decay this is the wild greens collection so we have an eyeshadow palette for 44 dollars with 12 nature inspired earthy neutrals and wild greens a wild lash mascara which is going to be 25 dollars to lift fan and volumize every lash from root to tip coming soon to the website and also their retailers so I don't know when I first saw this picture I don't know if I would have thought Urban Decay it looks maybe a little bit more like indie brandish to me like I don't know if I'm thinking maybe of like Kaleidos makeup or not sure who I'm thinking of but uh, I wouldn't have thought Urban Decay I do really like green and green palettes so this one turned my attention because it's green but it's also neutral which I also prefer I actually think that it's pretty uh not all urban decay palettes really catch my attention i can't say that i did like a break my neck type of double take you know what i'm saying but once i saw it and looked at it i was like i would give that a shot i'm also curious about the mascara i like testing out mascaras i did recently get a lash lift and tint so if you feel like my lashes have been looking a little bit on the better side recently it's because i did a lift and tint for them but i like trying out mascaras so i would give it a shot the palette is 44 dollars, which is pretty standard I don't know if I'm getting this from Urban Decay. Um, I did get an email from them saying if I wanted it to like use a form to sign up, which is usually how they run their PR. I just haven't received anything from them for such a long time. Um, so I kind of thought that I got removed from their PR list, but I think I signed up for it. But then I got another email from them saying, if you want to sign up for it. And I was like, did I not? 
And so I signed up again and then I got another email from them saying if you want to sign up, I don't know what's going on. So I might be getting it, I might not. If I don't get it in PR, I might still just grab it anyways just to be able to try it out and see what I think or would you want to see this review for me? Please do let me know. But I like the greens. I like the way that this looks. We also have a new collection from Nomad Cosmetics coming out. This is a new eyeshadow palette, the Nomad Lodge, inspired by the snow lodges of Whistler and its incredible mountain, mountainous landscape. The color story is all about a presky chic. Wintry mix of glacial greens and frosty blues paired with cozy neutrals and snow globe spark sparkles. It's gonna be $39 and available on January 25th. Okay, this is this is quite cute. We also have some greens in here. I don't know, this is a really interesting color story to me, but I feel like it really works. I mm, Have I tried? I don't think I've tried Nomad Cosmetics yet, but they come out with some cute releases. I have to say, I, like the shade names, some of the imprints on the shadows. I mean, this looks like this looks like a really decent palette. $39, that is not too bad either. Mmm. Do I absolutely have to have it, especially if I do buy the Urban Decay? I just bought the Pat McGrath Bridgerton. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you think. If there's something that you would want to see um, the Urban Decay versus the Nomad, I, I would love to hear your thoughts on that. But I like it. it looks It looks really good. Okay, ColourPop also released a new collection, and this is for Valentine's Day. All right, so we have. The, right, is this for, it looks like it's for Valentine's Day. I could be making that up. This is called the Secret Admirer Collection. So that's, I'm thinking. So we have a palette. We have some more of the heart-shaped powder blushes, the French Kiss Lip Creams. Um, oh, it looks like there's a Mystery Date hairbrush. I'm all about that. The Soul Body Shimmering Body Powder and Dry Shimmering Oil, and then the 4th Rate Beauty Good Together Duo. So I do not see uh, a release date on this one yet. All right, so for the eyeshadow palette, it's cute. It looks like a couple of the shades are in a heart-shaped pan. I think that's really sweet. It kind of reminds me of like a like a mini love palette or something from Natasha Denona. I actually really liked the blushes that came in those, the heart-shaped compacts when they released at the beginning of 2021. I was a really big fan of them. I like the ColourPop powder blushes. Those are cute. I think that this photo, which is from hotfire.makeup, which is on the screen right now, is a super eye-catching. Like, the colors are just kind of, like, jumping out of the screen here. Do I have to have it, though? Probably not. I'm not a big fan of the lip products from ColourPop most of the time, and the skincare I usually stay away from also. That hairbrush looks super cute. I, if I get this in PR, I would be down to uh, give that a try. Looks like there's some hair clips in there, too. Okay. It's a cute collection. I like it. I think it fits the theme well and it's very Valentine's y and very cute. I just don't think that I would want. I, I, with ColourPop, they release so much. So typically with ColourPop, unless something is really doing that, then I say that if I was going to be purchasing them myself, then I would pass over it. But if I do get this in PR, if, if it does come, would you want to see a video on the collection? Of course, let me know. Looks like Colored Rain is also coming out with this new collection. So we have a spring collection featuring their Chic Collection palettes launching January 21st. We have Neutral Chic, Pretty Chic, which is pink tones, Wealthy Chic, which is green tones, and Sunset Chic, orange tones. These are going to be $16 each or $60 for the bundle, which will be palettes only, or $73 for the PR box. All right. Okay, so I liked Colored Rain palettes that I tried in the past. I... I didn't like lose my mind over them, but I thought that they were nice. So I like kind of these smaller monochromatic palettes. The green one is definitely very pretty. The neutral one, I actually, I think I would have thought that I would have been a little bit more like, whoa, with the neutral, but I don't know. The pink one looks nice. Looks like we have that purple shade in there too. I just, I feel like I want to be more excited about them than I actually got. And maybe it's because I've been buying a lot of makeup. I know I have that Sephora order coming up. You know, I did the Bridgerton. I did the Beautylish Lucky Bag. So um, might be because of that that I'm like, I feel like I can't get all that like uh, about it. But I think that they look pretty. So from Maybelline, I did not think that this was Maybelline, first of all. So this is available now at Walmart, the green edition. Aligned with formulas that contain a minimum of 70% natural origin ingredients, vegan clean with packaging that includes a mix of new and recycled materials. So the products include the Sun Drop Tinted Oil Makeup with Adjustable Coverage for $8.98 in eight shades, the Mega Mousse Mascara, which is $8.98, the Balmy Lip Blush, 
which is a $7.99. When I first saw this, I definitely thought of Thrive Cosmetics with the packaging. I thought Thrive was releasing some new products. So for it to be Maybelline, I was like, did not see that coming. I think it looks like the word that I want to use is like clean. Like it looks kind of more modern and clean for Maybelline, um, which I don't, I, I definitely don't mind that direction. I'm curious about their Super Drop Tinted Oil Makeup. Fresh look and adjustable natural coverage. There's only eight shades, so I'm wondering, it sounds like it's more of like a skin tint or again, maybe like that blurring primer that we're seeing some brands come out with. If you'd want to see a review on it, let me know. I actually really like Maybelline mascaras. I've tended to enjoy them a lot throughout the years. So it kind of makes me curious to pick it up. I think the only one would be like the Balmy Lip Blush. A lipstick so melty it delivers lasting hydration and blush looking lips. I feel like it might be a little bit too sheer coverage for me. And I also got the new ones from Kaja to try out. I don't know if I would absolutely need to pick that up. But again, really curious to hear your thoughts on this one. If there's anything that you would want to see. I believe this is available now. Yeah, what it is? At Walmart. Available now at Walmart. So... Let me know what you're thinking. I'm intrigued though. I'm intrigued by that direction. From Sigma Beauty, I saw that they came out with a new collab. So this is very exciting. So this is a new collab with Taylor Wynn. This is the Face Trio set. Enjoy this limited edition set created just for you, featuring three brand new face brushes created by Taylor herself. There's a dense powder brush, a smooth under eye and a concealer coverage brush. This is so exciting. This picture of Taylor is absolutely beautiful. Big congratulations for Taylor for being able to create her own brushes with Sigma. I've been able to do the Sigma favorite sets, which is some other influencers have done also where we pick our favorites and put it into a bundle. But for her to create these, the black and the gold looks absolutely beautiful. And these brushes look, I'm just, Sigma brushes have amazing quality anyways, but just looking at these, I'm like, ooh, they look so beautiful. I believe I am getting this in PR. I'm an affiliate with Sigma. My code is Samantha if you are looking to make any purchases. Uh, but I did get a shipping confirmation from Sigma this morning. So I'm assuming that these brushes are coming to me. And I'm going to be really excited to use them. Because I feel like they're just going to be fantastic. So these are available now. I will definitely have them linked down below. To keep it moving, Makeup Revolution has a new collection they are coming out with. This is the Brightening Collection. So we have the Ultimate Brightening Routine. A bright light highlighter for $10. The Banana Bright Loose Baking Powder for eight, the Bright Under Eye Corrector for eight, and the Eye Bright Concealer for 10. These are vegan and cruelty free. All right. Um, I'm not a big fan of Makeup Revolution. I don't know if I see anything in here that I'm like, I absolutely have to have these. They're reminding me of something, but I don't know what. What am I thinking that this reminds me of? And Makeup Revolution kind of got a lot of traction for being more of like a dupe brand. Why? What am I thinking that this looks like? Hmm. I can't think of it. But I I highly doubt that I would pick anything up. It's just not a brand that intrigues me. Melt Cosmetics, they are coming out with the Slick Waterline Pencils. We have fine five skin-toned eyeliners that provide a bright, wide-eyed effect in the waterline. These are going to be $19 each or $65 for the bundle, available January 28th, which is Mama March's birthday. What, what? Intriguing idea. I remember one time in, it was probably college, I was reading a magazine back in the day i was reading a magazine and they had done an interview with blake lively and she said one of her makeup tricks was to do like a nude liner in her waterline because it made her look more awake and make her eyes brighter i wore nude in my waterline for the next year you could not convince me to not put nude in my waterline that was for sure what I was doing. Um, it's still something that I do from time and again. I used to have one from Rimmel at the start of my YouTube days that I wore all of the time, but I don't do it really as much anymore. Like today I have green on in my waterline and that's just what I prefer. So I don't think it's something that I absolutely have to have for this one, but like the idea, I get the concept. On Indie Makeup Spotlight, I saw that, I believe it's Adept Cosmetics is coming out with this new eyeshadow palette, the Plain Jane Remastered Palette. Will be available for pre-order on the 29th. Uh, okay, so that is what I see right now. This looks like a really pretty palette. The swatches look absolutely amazing. Looks to be an all shimmer palette, which is not so much my thing. I kind of go for more smaller palettes regardless, or even like something like a duo or a trio when it comes to my shadows. But I mean, all of them look super stunning. 
just not one that I think that I would get a ton of use out of myself. And then I think the last one we have to finish off with, I got a couple tags on this one of people being like, what? And I was like, what? Because when I first clicked on the photo, I was like, that looks like a package of bologna. What? Uh, but we're going to talk about it because it's kind of a shorter week. So like, why not end it with something a little bit fun, right? So this is from, our, uh, who is this from? The, the Korean beauty brand Soul Mamas. And this is a collab, a collection with Oscar Mayer, I think. Um, this is available now at Amazon, a new and different type of collaboration. Nothing says I love you like a slice of self-care. The Bologna Hydrogel, Hydrogel Sheet Face Mask. This is for $4.99. It has witch hazel botanical and seaweed derived ingredients to protect and hydrate. Collagens lock in moisture and promote skin elasticity. I can't tell if this is a joke or if this is, I think this is serious. I love Tara Lynn. Is this a real April's Fool joke? I don't know what to say. For once, I'm speechless. I can't, I just, when I look at this photo, which is this real or not? I don't know. When I look at this photo, I can smell bologna. You know what bologna smells like, right? I mean, I used to eat bologna sandwiches like a fiend. Bologna and cheese sandwiches, that's what I had like every single day in high school and carried over into a little bit of college and then I finally upgraded to turkey. But I, yes, bologna, I even bought the bologna that had like the cheese in it, like the little cheese, like I did that too when I was trying to be classy. So, you know, or just cheap because I couldn't also afford cheese and bologna, it was the whole thing. So this is going to be a no for me and I'm just genuinely curious if this is a real thing. Would you buy a bologna sheet mask? If you would, I don't judge you with this. This is new makeup releases. This is a judgment free zone. Okay, that is how I like to think of my, we are a judgment free zone. Um, so if you want it, I think that's fabulous. I don't really do sheet masks anymore anyways, but I could just, hopefully it's not bologna scented. You know what I mean? On that note, that's how we're gonna end new makeup releases. Unbo we are unbothered. We are unbothered by the bologna sheet mask thing that we have going on but i hope you enjoyed it i know this week was a little bit shorter but again my schedule's kind of been all over the place so we'll start getting back into the groove into a regular routine here shortly thank you all so much for letting me have a little break uh i wish i could say that i'm like calm and collect it but like i said new merch new items for the brand coming potentially this week as long as i put out all the fires that i've been trying to put out this week when it comes to that new book coming lots going on 2022 is going to be a big year i'm really excited uh and we have a lot to look forward to a lot to look forward to but that is it for this video if you enjoyed it please make sure to give it a thumbs up i hope you also consider subscribing before you go and i'll see you in my next video